Hi guys, Luckfuck here, and welcome to the FIFA 19 player review. And today I'm going to be the 90 rated Prem icon, Yari Lippmann. He's got a fantastic looking card, and he did cost me 680,000 coins. And in the four games that I played him with, he scored me four goals and got me three assists. And he does have a four star weak foot as well as three star skill moves. Moving along into his in game stats, his main standard stats are his 94 type positioning, his 90 ball control, his 93 volleys, and his 89 short passing. And I did have the sniper chem style applied to Lippmann for the uh, four games that I did use him in uh, in Fort Rivals. And I have to say, for the most part, this card was really, really fun. However, a few months ago, or should I say a month ago, just before the Prime Icon SBCs came out, this guy was going for 500,000 coins, the cheapest icons now, and he's one of the cheapest icons you can get on the market. About 680 to 700,000 coins you can get your cheapest icon for at the moment, which is absolutely insane, and to be quite honest, disappointing. I'm not going to... I thought about making a video on the whole thing, but I, I don't want to make anything too negative. Um, but obviously, it's a big, big shame, you know, and if anything, unfortunately, cards like this Litmanen are only going to probably go up in value is better icon SPCs are released, uh, which is a big shame, but even so, um, let's not dwell on it too much, and let's focus on the Slipman card, because he does have a very nice looking card, good pace, very nice shooting, very nice passing, and also uh, decent dribbling as well, and getting into his first pro, it is going to be his passing, his passing stats are great, the three main stats you need to look for a passer in the camp position are his vision, his short passing, and his curve, and his stats are great in those areas, 88 vision, 89 short passing, and 85 curve, Feel free to put a chem style to increase those stats even more. But honestly, I had the sniper chem style, which doesn't improve any of his passing. And his passing was absolutely fine. His through balls were absolutely immaculate. The one thing I would say is probably don't play him as a centre midfielder. Long passing doesn't necessarily matter for a cam. However, in the centre midfield position, if you're going to be going and playing this guy with 77 long passing, you're basically using a James Milner. And no one wants that, of course. Don't get me wrong. IRL, James Milner is an absolute beast. But FIFA-wise, not quite too sure. So, um, yeah, if you're going to use him as a centre midfielder, which I wouldn't recommend um, just because he hasn't got the best type of card for a sentiment for the just there's just better alternatives for example like a like a Roy Keane or something like that but um yeah if you are going to play him in that position make sure you put a chem style to increase his long passing but still three assists in four games from the camp position was absolutely fantastic moving along into his second pro that's going to be his dribbling for a cam card. Very good dribbling stats. We'll would probably recommend increasing his balance and agility with a cam style. That's exactly what I did with the sniper cam style. So he does go to 86 agility and 76 balance. They felt fine. Also, he's got the 93 reactions, which is brilliant. 90 ball control. That's a big, big important step for a cam. And he definitely does deliver there as well. Good in-game dribbling and very nice composure as well. So I couldn't fault his dribbling. Was very nice. And it is one of the more important stats, of course, for a cam card. And something that you expect to be pretty good at when paying essentially 700,000 coins for him, uh, you do want his dribbling to be good, and it definitely is. His final pro is going to be his shooting. Excellent finishing stats. In my opinion, my favourite part about this card, literally no weakness. Well, I suppose his short passing at 82 is his only letdown. Uh, sorry, his 82 shot power is his only letdown, but actually that felt to me like it was in the really high 80s to low 90s. I thought the shot power was absolutely fantastic. And the thing that comes in with his 88 long shots as well, but uh, 93 volleys, 87 penalties, 91 finishing, 94 attack positioning, absolutely fantastic stats for a cam card. If you wanted to, you could use him as a striker, but I would probably recommend putting a chem style that also increases his pace a little bit because he's not slow, but at the same time, if you want to use him as a striker, you do need to put a counter just so he's got that little bit of an extra kind of edge on the defenders and stuff like that. But as a count card, you don't need to increase his pace. It's it's absolutely fine. Uh, a few of the things to note with the card, 87 stamina is very nice as well. Of course, there's plenty of count cards that have not... Plenty of icon cam cards, for example, the prime icon Gianfranco Zilla that doesn't have great stamina, um, you know, so... His stamina is absolutely fine. There's nothing to worry about in that area. Now, would I recommend buying this card? Um... No, I wouldn't because I think if before the Prime Icon SBCs came out, he's increased over the past three to four weeks. He's, he's gone up by essentially 200,000 coins, which is an absolute joke, but fair enough, every other icon pretty much has gone up in value as well. But um, I've been using the 91 rated Luka Modric at camp for like the past weekend league. And he was just as good and costs about 600,000 coins less. Another card that I'd probably recommend that probably be better at a cam card than Lippmann would be Kevin De Bruyne. I haven't used him, but I've come up against him plenty of times and he's been fantastic. So, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with this Lippmann card, but... He's a bit too expensive. He's a bit too much on the price. He said, I mean, if you really, really want him, if you're a big fan of him, feel free to go and buy him because he will do well for you. But I'm just saying there are cheaper, 
you know, and to some extent better alternatives than this car. But even so, I did enjoy using Litmanen for the four games, and that is going to finish up this pro Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.